everyone, and welcome back to Team Fortress 2. I am here with Rachel. Say hello, Rachel. Hello! And we are here to show off the, uh, the engineer. It's Halloween, or the Halloween season, so all the taunts have been changed to randomly sometimes do the thriller dance. So yeah, that's fun. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Alright, so let's get things started. Uh, basic loadout for the engineer. Simple enough. A shotgun, a pistol, and a wrench. All behave exactly as you'd expect. Shotgun has particles. Uh, my computer has lag. Hello, Rachel. Hi. Pistol, single shot, fairly accurate. A bit of uh, drift. And a wrench is a wrench that you hit things with. Um, yeah, I seem to have a... My frame rate is not happy with me right now, but it's okay. So, Rachel has uh, volunteered to take the uh, role of spy for us today. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I may need you to also go demo man at some point. Okay, so if you um, could leave them for a bit so you don't get shot at, I will uh, start showing things. Alright, the uh, main factor for an engineer is you either press 4 or scroll down beyond the wrench and you have your PDA. Uh, this will allow you to build uh, one of four items. You can build a sentry gun, a dispenser, a teleporter exit, or a teleporter entrance. Uh, so let me build those. You can see they all have their cost in metal. Uh, down at the bottom right, no matter what weapon you're using, you will always see your amount of metal. It works as sort of a secondary ammo. Anywhere you would pick up ammo, you'll also pick up metal. So let me uh, drop these off. Now, it is highly imperative that you learn that as you're placing items, you can right-click and rotate them. This is extremely important in uh, positioning sentries where you might want them, but uh, even more importantly for positioning teleporters. Uh, if you were to place the entrance, the entrance doesn't really matter. You can place that however you want. However, where you place, uh, how you orient the exit changes where people will come out. See, exit direction. It has a little arrow on there so you know. So if I place this here, it will come out facing away from the wall. It will be facing this direction. Uh, so as things build, you can uh, whack them with your wrench and they'll build ever so slightly faster. As you can see, it just goes a bit faster than if you were to just leave it alone. Um, you Sometimes it's good to just sit there and whack at it until it's done. Other times you'll want to just let it build on its own while you go do other more important things. Alright. Once an object is built, uh, you'll see upgrade progress. Every object has uh, three levels of upgrading, and it takes 200 metal, which you dole out at 25 metal a hit, uh, to upgrade to its next level. See, this is the next level sentry. Fires much faster and has a larger range uh, by a bit, I think. And the final level has rockets. And uh, you can see up in the top left there, all the objects that you have built, how much health they have, their status, whether they're upgraded or not, and uh, in the case of the turret, how much ammo it has. Uh, which want to run in here and get shot? We can see that go down. No, oh, fine. Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> Are you on level 3 on your turret? Uh, yes, it is on level 3. Where are you? No! Okay. Hurry up, yeah, you're just gonna get shot at. Run through there and see how long you survive. I'm scared! Okay. Ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, you can see up on the thing for the turret, it's a little bit lower on rockets and even less than that on ammo. It has quite a bit to go around. Uh, a dispenser is a simple enough object. After being built, it will heal nearby enemies and dispense ammo and metal. I mean, uh, I what did I say? Enemies? Enemies. No, it's, yeah, allies. Sorry, it will heal nearby allies. Uh, or disguised enemy spies. So you can come show that in a bit, Rage. Uh, and this arrow on the front shows you how much ammo or metal is inside of it. Uh, as you upgrade it, it dispenses ammo and metal in higher quantities and heals at a faster rate. Um, teleporters are a bit odd in that uh, you only have to upgrade one end and it will affect both. Uh, how they work is you just stand on them bit of a delay, you are now over here, and then it must recharge. Uh, as you can see, it recharges fairly slowly. That is what uh, increases as you upgrade it. Fully upgraded teleporter will pretty much be ready to go the instant somebody is done coming through. Ah, so there's Rachel, a disguised spy. As you can see, she's disguised as me, so it doesn't, doesn't fool players, but it's enough to fool the sentry. So, uh, let me whack you once, Rach. Okay, that hurt, right? Yeah. Okay, now go stand in front of my uh, dispenser. And it has a small uh, little tr 
frail there that it shows she's being healed, and now she is full health both in her disguise and actually, so she did actually get health from that. Uh, let me finish upgrading this real fast. There we go, now watch if I teleport through this. It's ready. So, yeah, really fast. Also, disguised spies, like you, Rachel, can also use your teleporter. So why don't you uh, show that off? Whoop. Poof. Sweet. And it's no different than anyone else using it. Uh, now, the main problem with spies, that which I will show when I actually show off how to use them, is that they have an, an object called an Electro Sapper, which will shut off your uh, items and slowly start to drain their health. Uh, to remove an Electro Sapper, so Rachel placed one on my teleporter entrance there. Oh, or sorry, sentry. sorry. Simply uh, <laughs> whack it twice with your wrench, and it will come off. Also, an item I never covered because I don't believe I have one. I may. There is an item called the Home Wrecker for the Pyro. Um, let me actually just search through my Pyro stuff real fast. There we go, the Home Wrecker. Uh, does a lot less damage versus players, but it will damage buildings more and removes sappers. So if you're a Pyro, you can be a good friend. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rach. You can be a good friend to your engineers by uh, sticking around and spy checking constantly. And uh, if anyone happens to sap something while the engineer is not around, you can destroy the sappers with your home record. So very nice there. Um, let's see here. I want to switch to my other loadout, Rach, but uh, that uh, I guess I'll tell you people. Switching your lo uh, what you have equipped will de delete any buildings you had built. Which is annoying, but it makes sense because there is a item I will show in a bit which actually gives you a different sentry altogether. So, uh... Are you almost here? Oh, perfect. Okay, something you definitely want to watch out for is repairing your teleporter while standing on top of it, and I'll show you why. So, Rachel, uh, place a sapper on my entrance there, and then stand on top of it. Okay. That is what's known as a telefrag. <laughs> Spies will quite often sap your teleporter entrance and stand on it, hoping that the engineer will try to repair it while standing on the exit, which will lead to them teleporting into the engineer and killing them instantly. So, it's a very devious trick. Don't fall prey to it. Um, so, if you want to show, Rachel, how spies act by uh, sapping everything in sight, and I'll try to save as much as I can. Backstab me if you can. Okay. Hey, what's up? This How's is the biggest going? problem. You'll walk in and go, Oh, hey there, teammate. How are things Hi. going? Look, Things look pretty nice. So yeah, I want to check out my stuff. Oh my gosh! Oh, and ah, then... I failed, though. <laughs> and you failed. But uh, most often, anyone who hovers around your buildings is attempting to destroy them. So, whack everyone you see with a wrench. Doesn't matter what you're doing, if... If you think someone might be around, might be a spy, in any capacity, hold down left click and just run around doing this. Never, ever, 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 ever stop moving as an engineer. That just makes you more likely to be shot at. Sometimes it's good to like crouch in a corner, so... Uh, if you, you, What you can do sometimes is uh, crouch jump, which is jump and then hold crouch and you'll... It lowers or raises the, where your feet are. But anyway, it allows you to jump a little higher. You can get on top of your buildings, stand on them with your back to a corner or a wall, and just constantly repair. Eventually you'll run out of metal, so you, it's nice to have a uh, dispenser nearby. Right here, I am practically invincible to most threats except for snipers and spies. And even spies would have a very tough time getting me off of here, because if they sap into my stuff, I'll just keep uh, getting them off. Okay, well, I think I've uh, taken up time, taken up enough time going over this. Let me show the alternate loadouts. Ah, uh, let's see. The first items you will get in each slot for uh, achievement items are the Frontier Justice, which is a shotgun that has fewer bullets per clip, but if your sentry manages to get any kills before it is destroyed, every one of those kills turns into two crits. If it gets any assists, those assists become one crit. And uh, you carry those crits around with you wherever you go, and so if you have a really effective sentry, and then someone blows it up, or you blow it up, uh, you will suddenly have like 30-something crits. It's, it's retarded, but awesome. Uh, then there's the Wrangler, which allows you to manually control where your sentry is aiming, and then there's the Gunslinger, which I will show off in just a second. And as you see, all of my stuff blew up. Now, Rachel, uh, there you are, perfect. 
if you would uh, let this kill you, so just shoot, uh, shoot something. This is the mini sentry. Whenever you equip the uh, Wrangler, you lose your wrench and lose the ability to make an upgradable sentry, and instead get this fast building miniature sentry. Uh, what you can then do if. Uh... Oh! Well, okay, what you can do is if, if you build it somewhere, fire off a few people, and need to move it, you have two options. Right click on any building, but in this case the mini sentry. You pack it back up as it is, including upgrades, and uh, can carry it off elsewhere. Can't believe I, I mentioned everything else, I forgot to mention packing up. And uh, let me see how. F this is how fast it builds in every case. It's a good second and a half. If you can get that. Uh, get that going. It's it's great for offensive engineers. As odd as that sounds, you can run into a place, slap down a sentry, and hold down the fort from wherever you are. Uh, now, if I were to press 5 or scroll down beyond the PDA, there is the demolish machine, er, button. Hit that, hit 1, the sentry is gone. And now I have two revenge crits to use on uh, anyone I feel deserves them. In this case... No! <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> You're mean. Why'd you have to do that? I got a free achievement! Sweet! I love Halloween! Okay, um... <laughs> uh, and so then, it only takes 100 uh, metal to build as the usual, er, as opposed to the usual, I think it's 145? I'll look in a bit. Build Just... Okay, actually, from packing up, it does build slightly faster than usual. But anyway, it does build in about two seconds. And there you go, you can just slam it down, pick up a few uh, dead people's weapons, and you can pretty much build infinite numbers of these mini sentries if you uh, work it correctly. You also, however, cannot repair them. You can only refill their ammunition by punching them. So if one of them is at half health, it's going to stay at half health, and you might be better off blowing it up and building a new one of your own. Uh, then the Wrangler. The Wrangler puts a shield on your sentry, which makes it take about, it's like, 40% damage, if that. It's it's pretty t powerful. However, it is not actually there. It only applies to your sentry. People can still headshot you through the shield, so watch out for that. And then allows you to point, click, and fire your sentry wherever the heck you want at a higher rate than it would fire on its own. Which, of course, means that it does burn through ammo much faster. And you can see, you'll be like, Ah, I have to kill you all! And then, out of ammo. Let me scroll the right direction here. Yeah, <laughs> hold on, Rach. That's a that's a very good idea to go with that. Um, you can then uh, refill the ammo if you right click while using the Wrangler. You will yeah! fire. You will fire rockets uh, if your sentry has them. Now, the second biggest threat to your buildings besides a spy would be a soldier or a, a demo man. They're about the same. It depends on where you place it. So I'm going to place this Rach and uh, and wrangle it so it doesn't shoot you. What oh. you want to look out for is. Uh, no, don't use your regular grenades, Rach. Use your stickies. I am. Okay, so sticky it. But don't blow it up. So move out of the way now. I'm going to unwrangle it. If you find that your uh, building has uh, sticky bombs around it anywhere, they can be shot to be removed. And in fact, that's a very good thing to do because otherwise they'll blow up. So uh, keep a close eye on your buildings and make sure there's never any stickies, there are no spies around. So, constant vigilance is required around your buildings. It is possible to build a giant nest and then go out and finish people off yourself with your shotgun elsewhere, but spies will eventually get around you, get to your nest, and blow it up while you aren't there. So, if you work together with multiple engineers, it is uh, possible to keep a solid two-sentry nest going for pretty much forever, uh, as long as you're both careful. Working with the pyro is even even better because then you can uh, notice spies immediately, and if they have the home wrecker, they're just as effective as a second engineer. Um, let me see here. Hi. Ah, ah I always forget I can't scroll through the bottom. Ah. <laughs> no. <There. laughs> and that's where the Scottish Resistance's uh, delay on being able to arm their bombs is a real pain. Um, oh, also, something you should note to, to watch for spies. Spies cannot walk through your sentries, just like you. Allies can walk right through your buildings as if they aren't even there. They'll be shoved off to the side if they stop moving around them, but otherwise they can, they can pretty much phase right through your buildings. If you see a person forced to crouch jump over whatever you've built, they are almost certainly a spy. So uh, give them a few punches or shoot them a few times with your shotgun. Did you know that, Rachel? 
I did. Okay. Um, just because I like them, I will I will show uh, my other or oh, crud, pretty much oh, what crud. I use as my main loadout. Careful there, Rach. <laughs> All right. This is the Widowmaker. This and the short circuit were introduced uh, with the rest of the Deus Ex stuff. This item actually uses metal as ammo, meaning you never have to reload it, but if you used all your uh, metal building things, you won't be able to shoot for very much. It takes 30 uh, metal per shot. There you go. And it will give you metal back based on damage done. So, if you play your cards right and are very accurate and or close to your target, you will actually gain more ammo ba or metal back than you spent shooting the person. So, it is very economical in that way. Also, you can build part of your nest, shoot a few people, and then build the rest with the metal you've gained. Um, it's not like so much more that you can always get more metal. If you're at a long distance and only hit with a few bullets, it's not going to pay off as well. For example, uh, where are you, Rachel? Oh, sorry. I'm coming. Okay, that's good. Uh, they don't need to actually see. The second is the jag. What this does is it actually uh, increases the rate at which a thing builds as you hit it more than a usual wrench. So if I were to build uh, teleporters, they take a bit, pretty good amount of time. So to see how fast it's building now, starting hitting it with the jag, it almost doubles. So that is uh, very handy if you trust the people around you enough that you won't be uh, afraid of just being shot in the back at any point or backstabbed. Uh, snipers are a decent threat to your existence, as uh, if they fully charge a shot or have a bow and uh, fully charge that, they can do some serious damage and destroy a fully built sentry in about two hits. Actually, a fully built anything in about two hits. There we go. However, at close range, they are they are relatively useless. <laughs> like if you suck like me. Whoa. Okay, oh. not not useless, but less likely to be a, a problem. Uh, with the Huntsmen, they are actually quite good at close range, but I'll get over that. I'll get to that uh, when we do them. Now, something very important to consider is turret placement. As you can see, that red cloud in the distance is its max range. Anything that is beyond that is actually beyond them. So if I were to place this sentry here, someone could stand right in that doorway and be completely untouchable to this turret, unless I use the Wrangler. Uh, if I go here, as you can see, they have to be perfectly centered back there to be safe. Uh, if I were to go over here, the rest of this room is covered. So this is a very popular spot for sentries. Because not only do they do a good job of covering this area, um, once you upgrade them enough, they can actually get a good, pretty solid shot off on the uh, lower areas. Damn it, Rach, I'm trying to upgrade this thing. Sorry. There we go. Let's try and do that again, Rach. Let me see. So you were to inch out here with your bow and arrow. Get to the point where you can actually shoot it. No? Okay, well you still have to watch it. So uh, it's it's a very uh, delicate process finding out where exactly your sentry is best. Ah, oh. Another uh, popular area is right here on this corner because it will cover most of that room and almost this entire courtyard. Thank you, Rachel. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, down in the intel, uh, it's very important to place sentries in spots where there are as few corners as possible because it's quite common for people to poke their heads around corners, get a, a few shots, and then poke back around before the sentry has managed to swivel in their direction, as you saw Rachel doing earlier. Um, so yeah, exact uh, turret placement is important. Um, I think I've pretty much covered anything. I, I do want to reiterate that you want to be extremely paranoid if you're playing as an engineer. Everything is a spy until proven otherwise. You see a person appear, whack them. It doesn't matter if you know they're an ally or not, whack them again anyway. Just to make sure that you are not being sapped. Because there is nothing more frustrating than getting everything in your uh, area leveled up to level 3 and having all of it taken away by one good spy. Um, I think with that... I am done, so I will need you to go spy again and, uh, oh god, disguise as someone of my team range so I can show off the medic. Okay. And, uh, I will be back then. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>